Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you were having a fantastic weekend so far. Before we start this video, I think it is time to make a very important change. The hat must turn around. With the darkness in the back, I have noticed while I have been editing, it looks more like a skull cap or something, so let's turn it around for future videos. Anyway, moving on, two Austin police officers are being recognized for their bravery. On Monday, Officer Panita and Officer Carrera pulled a man from a burning vehicle. His truck was actually fully engulfed in flames. Here's the video. Get that extinguisher. Hey man. Woo. Come on, come on. Hit it, hit it. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come out. Come out. Get out. Help me, help me get him real quick. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Come on. Him over. He's having a seizure. 4-4, we got one now. He's right. having a seizure. Right. We need to get missing. 10-18. We're not, we're not going to do anything with it. Hey, get everyone away from me. Hey, help me pull him over there. We'll get away from the fire. One, two, three. Here. You're okay. Okay, buddy. You're okay. You're okay. You're good. You're good. You're all right. Stay away. Get away from me. It's not going to do nothing. That's not going to do nothing. It's not going to help. Stay away. Over here. Get over there. Over there. You're okay. You're okay. Four four. The vehicle's completely engulfed. That's hot. Come on. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Get out. Help me. Help me get up a little quick. Come on. Come on. Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Come on. Turn him over. He's having a seizure. Four, four. We got one now. He's right. having a seizure. Right. We need to get missing. 10, 18. 7, 7, 7. Hey, Joe, hey. Right, we're not, we're not away from it. I'm moving this away. Hey, help me pull him over there. We'll get yeah. away from the fire. Come on, buddy. Two, three. Come on. 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 Absolutely amazing what these officers did. And unless you've actually been close to a car that is fully engulfed in flames, you have no idea the unbelievable amount of radiant heat that is coming off of that vehicle. It was very clear to me how well trained these officers were because not only were they able to pull a man from a burning truck uh, just moments before it exploded, they were also able to recognize that he was having a seizure and they rendered aid. Incredible work and these guys definitely deserve to be recognized. Officers across the nation perform heroic acts every single day and I wish the media would use more of those instead of 
cherry picking what they want to pick, which is what's going to make the money, which is usually bad news. I have to say though, these officers definitely knew what they were doing. But if you are new to law enforcement, use your brain. You have to use common sense and rely on your training. There's a time to act and there is a time to hold back. If you are not properly equipped, then running into a fully engulfed house is not necessarily a good idea. All it takes is one deep breath of very thick smoke and you're gonna drop like a sack of potatoes. And now fire has an additional victim they have to rescue. I actually remember a call about a house fire that I responded to several, several years ago. I took a deep breath, I ran inside, I was able to check like two different rooms and then I had to run outside of the house to take another deep breath. I went in and I ended up clearing the entire house. Luckily, nobody was inside. But I do remember my command chewing my behind out on scene for putting myself in that position. And I understood that I was putting myself at risk, that's why I signed up for this job, but I felt at the time like it was at least safe enough uh, for me to go in there and try to rescue somebody that might be unconscious from smoke inhalation. Speaking of which, where was the fire department when this happened? <laughs> Uh -huh, that explains it. Being a cop means you need to be able to assess any sort of situation you might be on and you have to do it quickly. You have to be able to think on your feet. But either way, I thought these two officers should be recognized for their very heroic acts. Even their chief was proud to post them on social media. Very good job to them. Now let me ask you guys, let's go for some interaction here. What would you have done if you would arrive and you saw a truck that was fully engulfed, you couldn't see anything inside? I kind of want to know what you guys would do. Anyway guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any type of experiences, whether you work for a police department or fire department or whatnot, uh, tell me about some of your experiences and some of the scenes that you've been on. I'd like to read those in the comments. Uh, I'd also like to invite you guys, I'm going to have my first public live stream in a very long time uh, tonight at eight o'clock at Eastern Standard Time. So feel free to join us then. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend and I will see you guys very, very soon.